welcome to another edition of Totally Awesome Fishing. And this time we're down on the River Kennet. We're hopefully going to be catching some perch and if we're lucky we're going to be using minnow live bait in a beautiful little weir pool to catch them. Fingers crossed the weather is fabulous, dead simple fishing and do you know what I'm looking forward to? Catching the bait. Right then the minnows for those of you who don't know is probably Britain's smallest fish but perch love to eat them just part of the prey and predator chain. So you're going to be using a single maggot. Now you never thought anybody was going to tell you how to catch minnows. But just a single maggot. That's all you need, just like this. Nice little wiggly one. Just hook it once, anywhere through the sort of centre middle of the body. It doesn't matter if the hook's showing. And I've got this little stick float there. Small stick float, top end bottom. Couple of small shot, there we go. Couple of small shot. You're rigged up to go minnow fishing because they're only bait at the end of the day. Throw a few loose maggots in there just to get them going. And do you know what? It's like schoolboy stuff, it's just leaning over a fence. I feel as though I'm poaching here. In fact, I probably am knowing me, but it's it's where the minnows are, I'm told. So if we can catch the minnows, I'll take you and show you a really pretty little pool. I've not done this fishing in this pool before for perch, so it's not all set up, I've never even been there. Fingers crossed, hello, we might have a bite coming. And you can get totally engrossed in this if you're not careful. <laughs> there we go. Straight off the bat, straight off the bat, one minnow. Now they're beautiful little fish really. They can be a right pain if you uh, if you don't want them, if you're fishing single maggot and small baits. But uh, there you can see them, and that is what perch, and even small pike, they love them. So pop them in a bucket of water, I'm going to get half a dozen, take them around the pool, and we'll show you what we're going to do with them then. Fingers crossed. As if I ever stop catching the bait. So we're down in this uh, new weir pool on the Kennet. Got the live bait, got the live minnows. This we're going to be using for the rig. I've just got an Avon rod, five pound line, same old, same old for me. But because I was barbel fishing last night, I made a mistake. I've got my primitive section on. I haven't got my Avon top section. I'm sure it'll be okay for perch fishing. And then get the hook sorted out. They've been catching these uh, perch on the regular size 14s, but they've lost some as well. So I've stepped up on the five pound line I stepped up there to a size 10 hook and I've got an Avon float there it just takes like 3 BB which I think is going to be enough because if you're not actually fishing for perch in the fast water they're going to be just on the edge of the water along the side of this wall where it back eddies so I'm going to fish in slightly over depth I've just got one more small shot maybe five six inches from the hook and we just want to fish it above the, above the gravel as it runs down and hopefully these perch will see the spark and the flash of the minnows and zoom in there. There we go. To show you that I wasn't messing about, we did actually catch some. There you go. Lots of lovely little minnows, all ready to go on the hook. And that's all you need, just one of these. So they tell me, one of these little chaps, there, just lip hooked on and away we go. So all I do is just take the bait and just, just lightly, just take it through that top lip there. And that's it, he's wiggling away. He's ready to go and find me a perch. See so what we can do. There you go, swear pool perch. Five minutes. Beauty. What a beauty. That shows you what a predator this fish is. There he is. Look at that one. Oh, it's come up there. That's the perch. And the bait's still in his mouth there. You can still see the live minnow. Look at his lovely fins coming up there. 
that is a nice, and these are all spiky. Little spikes here, little spikes there. But what a lovely looking fish. In the weir pool, what better surroundings. I've moved from the weir pool, that went quiet on me, so I've come up upstream on the slow stretch. Maggots and a stick float, straight into a small fish. Not very big. Dace. I thought it might be a roach. There we go. There we go. Small dace, not a big one. But, just goes to show you, you've got to keep moving. It's so hard when the water's all low and bright sun like this. You're waiting for the barbel to feed, and you know really it's not going to happen you know till dusk till that sun goes down a bit but anyway you can amuse yourself perch on live baits dace might get a roach in a minute there we go another dace but you know what this it splits here the river and it goes down to the small weir at the top and because i've got these two dace i'm kind of surprised i haven't got a roach but i just wonder if i go upstream i can see by the leaves on the surface that there's actually a bit more current there so we've got minnows, we've got perch, we've got dace. But I've got a feeling there might be roach in there as well. So if I move upstream, let's see if that extra pace does make a difference. There you go, that shows you a little bit of watercraft. And there is a small roach but a roach nevertheless caught by just moving, by just looking at the pace of the water on the surface and making that move. So, we're pretty well only short of the barbel at the moment, but the sun's still way up, so I'm not too worried. I think we're going to sit here, see if I can't get a bigger roach. It just goes to show that a little bit of a move makes a difference in finding another species. Right, well the roach and dace have gone off up there, so I've come back down by the roadway. I'm going to go uh, on one of the weirs. There's four weirs here, all the bastards. I'm going to wrap up because it's uh, we've had a little shower as well. It's a bit nippy. But uh, do you know what? I'm still stuck on those perch. I've got that one in the weir pool, but I wouldn't want a big one. So I think I'm going to tough it out there. Maybe I'll chuck a bait out for barbel, but I'm going to try and concentrate on that live bait with the minnows for the perch. So I think I'm still in with a shout. Uh, we have got nothing to lose anyway. Right, I've got a two. Oh no, please go, don't go. Please. I've got an absolutely monster perch. Honestly, I'm shaking like a leaf. I've just been dropping a minnow down the side of the weir. And it's absolutely a monster. And I'm on a tiny hook, I can't believe it. Oh, my heart's pounding, I can't tell you. I don't even want to tell you how big this fish is. The last one's half a pound. I don't go in the weir, please, oh please. It's a really, really, really big perch. Come on. It's going for some steaks are coming down there. Oh man, this is a big fish, it's so big. So big this perch. Oh, I just seen it on the surface. I can't even film, I don't want to show it to you. I've got no net. Oh dear God, don't come off. You want to see this fish, man? Please don't come off. Fish of the day. Oh, you want to see, oh, I can't believe this fish. Got a tiny land in there. Oh, look at this perch, man. What a fish. What a bloody fish. Oh, just let me get the mat out. Very quick, it's a beauty, beauty. This is the biggest perch I've ever caught in my life. 
Look at the size. I'll get his fin up for you. Look at the size of that perch. You can see it's quivering at the top. It's my hand shaking. That is an absolute animal. I can't believe it. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. I should think that fish has got to go... Well, it's got to be up around the three pounds mark. What a beautiful fish. I can't believe it. And I'm supposed to be barbel fishing. I said that fish is about... It might be better than three pounds. It's just an animal. That is... Then he's spiking me in the throat. A totally awesome giant perch. Yeehaw! What a beauty. I'm in a mess. I'm in a mess. I've wrapped up. Well, I'm in a mess. And that fish is three pounds nine ounces. I can't believe that. Three pound nine ounce perch. Yes, look at it. One last quick look, I want to get it back. Colours change, glasses off. Oh, come on, boy. What a tip off from Peter the Bailiff. A magnificent fish. Little Avonflow, Baltimore Avonflow. Three pound, nine ounce perch, right down by the wall. Live minnow. Oh, man, forget the barbel. That'd be another trip. Oh, look at that fish, That's, that is absolutely, that is absolutely superb, that one. Yes, I'm a happy bunny. Guys, I'm on again. You're going to believe this. I've got another really big perch on. The phone's going off. I cannot believe this fish. My last minnow dropped it right, out, right down the side of the wall. And he's, and he's peeling the line out. I've got to be careful, this is a really good perch, really good. It's not as big as the last one, but it's a big perch. Oh man, this fishing is unreal. I mean, it's, I've got about 40 minutes left of fishing time before they shut the fishery. Beautiful, beautiful, big perch. He's digging and digging and digging. Oh, it's not doing my nerves any good at all. I just want to catch a big barb. Oh, I don't want these giant perch like this. Well, I'm going to go for it. Beautiful fish. I'm going to see this is a beautiful fish. Just hang in there. It comes off, it comes off. We got him. We got him. How about that? Five minutes later, an absolutely second giant perch. My God, did we come good at the end or what? Check this perch out, guys. It's not as big as the last one. It's about, well, it's a baby of about two and a half. What do you think of that one, then? Look at that beautiful fish. Second cast. Now I'm really stuffed. It's dusk. I don't know if I'm going to get another minnow or not. I've got one dead minnow left in the bucket. They're obviously right on last knockings are coming out. That's a magnificent perch. Look at the size of it. Absolute jumbo. Saw the float. The float just dipped like a minnow. It's just flashed under. Unbelievable. Oh, that's Let's be glasses. Let's get the specs on for this puppy. Now he's not going to make three. Two pound twelve. Three nine and two twelve. You cannot say that's a bad day's fishing, can you, for perch? Just take one last lingering look at that beauty. That is what you call a jumbo perch. It is totally awesome perch fishing and I've suddenly become, thanks to Peter, telling me to float fish live minnows, I've suddenly become a totally awesome perch expert. <laughs>